Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Van Joe. With me, my guest, Judy. Yay. My other guest, Christian. And uh, welcome to Swanton, recapping the arts with the Swanton Arts Council. Judy, what you got? We have a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, some people say that there's nothing going on in Swanton. And to those people, I'd like to say, please, mm. <laughs> not, please, yes, please sign up for your arts news because... We have a lot going on, um, terrifying amount of stuff going on, but it's all good. It's all good. Lots and lots and lots of opportunities and changes. So the first big change, uh, Christian, you didn't get a chance to go to the meeting. Um, this, our meetings are the first Monday of every month. Right. Um, and they're on Zoom now, so we're all safe. Yay. Yes. Fun distance. Uh, but we talked about uh, one of the big things that had a lot of discussion was governing body changes. So, Joe, you were there. I don't yes. know if you remember much of the, that. Government uh, is confusing. Details? No, not details, but I know that Becky is, uh, is, is who's working on the... Uh... On the form or yeah. the criteria? Well, we all as a group came up with some criteria and there's some changes. And Michelle Nordberg That's is right, Michelle. taking the submitted, the proposed and tweaking it a little bit. The big change is going to be that um, previously it was one project one governing body member. Now mm -hmm. it's going to be more of if you're a major player in a project, you can be also on a governing body member. Governing body membership gives you rights to vote in all the changes in the Arts Council. It's not a board of directors, but you're the ones who vote in and out the board of directors. Big power. Big power. Um, also, the, that will be heading... So that's coming soon because the, the board's going to vote it in, and it's all just basic criteria. We're also looking at changing the bylaws Ooh, of the Arts Council. I know. That's terrifying. such fun stuff. It is so uh, exciting uh, to go over the ramifications of every semicolon mm. and word choice. And do we say each or all or every? Because punctuation and words matter. They Punctuation matters. Um, and it's highly exciting. So exciting. <laughs> I don't think I can take any more of that. Uh, so I've actually exited that committee uh, because I can't take any more of that. But it's exciting stuff. And uh, anybody who's on the governing body, you will be asked to, they're, they're, the group is making a proposal and then the governing body, the existing governing body will get to vote in those changes. And I hope that when that comes out, that everybody who is on the governing body, the past project leads will really carefully consider the changes read it read it and then understand that it's a painful process to even make a proposal they're thinking through every scenario and why you would do a certain thing um details boy mm. but it's all good i mean and all these things are to keep the arts council vibrant and sustainable and, and to make sure forward, right moving forward and to make sure that the arts actually um have an advocate in Swanton, which we're advocating all over the place. Um, That's right. It's slightly, slightly again, slightly terrifying. So many things. I just advocated before I came in. You did well. You know, I think people. You know, if you have your five a day. I mean, wait a minute, wrong thing. But you know, like Bring whatever. <laughs> yes. Uh, one of the things that's changing slightly, slightly, is the meeting format. Uh, we mentioned that first Monday of the month is the Arts Council meetings. And that's at that's, 6 p.m. That's where I was thinking Becky, right? She's working Becky's on the... Becky's the secretary. Yes. And she is working to change the, the format of the meeting slightly. She's really honing in on making the agenda to be the most effective. Because, and efficient, right? Like, and efficient. Because those four-hour meetings just weren't really hidden for everybody. Well, yeah, see, no. here's the problem. We have gone from absolutely nothing of art... In Swanton. I mean, people were doing art in their homes. They just weren't telling anybody and vastly unappreciated. But now there's so much going on. You really can't do it all or keep track of it all. Good problems to have. It's a great problem to have, but at the problems. root, it's still a problem. Yeah. Um, so we're looking at pulling out the creative meetings. Instead um, of our hair. Yes. Um, and then so that we can do those in a separate format. And with all the board duties and all the board things that need to be reviewed, 
um, which I think bored is a great word to use, <laughs> different spelling, yes. but it's, I know, to do, do, uh, it's, it, it's a, it's a challenge to get everything done. And we are, I think the last couple meetings, we kept them to about two and a half hours. Greatly impressive. And I, and I also say, <clears throat> we'll segue into then had a meeting with the, what are we calling ourselves? Our fundraising committee, fundraising committee which yep. the name might've changed mid meeting to Ooh. finance oversight, but uh, I don't know. They who's, have, on, the, who's they, on the fundraising committee? I can tell you who was there. I'm okay. not sure if yeah. everyone was there or okay. if we got new people, but Michelle was there. Okay. You're, you're, so but what, you're, are you a part of the meeting? You're like, I was supposed to be on the fundraising to do fundraising ideas and I never got an email. Well, I think that that was probably an that. oversight, and I know that volunteers are needed for everything. So, we Joe, need you. Make, we a, need you. make a note. I'll make a note. I'll make a note, I'll make a note saying at Christian. Uh, Dave you. Winchester was there as well. Okay. Uh, Janet, she was there. I See, was late. how did I not know about this meeting? Well, that's because one of the other things that we have on the list of of our strategic planning is a communications committee <laughs> because we are struggling with that. Okay, so we had David Winchester, Janet Suave, myself Mich and Michelle, Michelle Nordberg and Banjo. Yep. And we're going to add Christian to the fundraising slash keeping the money flowing financial yes. oversight. Yeah. We, we really butchered all. the name while we were there. We were playing all sides of fundraising and then overseeing the, the dollars and where they go and where they come from and all that good stuff. Uh, I think when I had to leave at around 8.30, we had made it to item number three of 13. So we're oh. taking a note from uh, SAC meetings of the past. We'll get there. We're going to be more efficient, but we, we got great ideas and great things to come in. So, and great people on our team, too, great, especially great if we have teammates. Michelle. Yeah, we, yeah. We'll, uh, yeah, Michelle so that's good. Awesome, and, yeah. and I know, I believe Heather also wanted to stay um, copied on that. Yep, Heather in Richkowski, contact with it. Yep. The, fundraising queen yes. yes she's very busy right now but um she's definitely staying involved in a lot of things she's also uh when we talk about communications and strategic planning so there is a strategic planning group right now that is looking at we gave ourselves a report card hmm. so that's one of the things we did we took that big list that we got from all the governing body members and from all the people who get our emails they sent in things that we wanted to focus on, and we sort of put those in groupings. Becky Fago went through, and she put them in five different sections, and then we sort of grouped them together. And as a committee of, and I'm going to, uh, Heather Butchkowski, Janet Suave, Joanne Parawriter, Becky Fago, and myself, we gave ourselves sort of like a grade. And on some things that we thought, you know, like, this is super urgent, like, well, we're already getting a B plus in that, so guess what? That one's going to ride for a bit, and we're going to focus on the one we got a D plus on. Nice, prioritizing. And, like well, it. you know, like, and other things, like, so we just, and now we're, the next step will be to go in and make sure that, okay, how do we raise our grade? And what's, then those are, that's how we're going to get our, move forward with strategic planning. It's a process. Communications was definitely um, noted as an area where we need improvement speaking to that uh, i just went through to find out all of the different emails that the arts council has Got a few. And, well yeah and it's hysterical because um i saw an ad or a notice that jo that janet put out saying that we have this thing and she said contact us at contact us at swanton arts council i'm like that's not an email you got that wrong and then I went well, like, that is an email. Yes. Yeah, that was fun following those emails to figure out which one was true. Like, who okay, I mean, so like, when you say communications committee, would that include social media communication? Like oh, probably, yes. As well? totally. okay. Yeah, yes. So, I mean, it's a whole ball of wax. So it's not just, we have an 11 member, well, a 10 member board, 10, 10 and a half, 11, hopefully 11. We've got hopefully a 11. big. I have a proposal. A big, please, in, please. Big bottomed board. <laughs> Oh, that sounds really bad. I'm worth the same big ass. It was a huge board. There it is, three o'clock in the morning. See ya. Um, and so there's the communicating with each other and how do we do that? Because everybody's at a different, uh, has a different communication style and has different apps and different connectivity and all that crap. Um, and then we've got communicating to the 
you know, to our members and communicating to people who maybe want to be our members mm -hmm. and communicating to the artists and Through communicating the just to the whole world. Um, it's uh, a struggle. So, yeah. I'm uh, excited about this. If I'm not already a uh, proposed uh, want to be on the team, I like this idea of the uh, committee, the uh, communication yeah, committee. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. definitely, definitely that's going to be, I think that, I know that was one of the initiatives. Right now we're working on the website to make it so that the only, because right now the only people who can update the website are me and occasionally I'll call my daughter panicked who doesn't even live in state and be like, ah, Alex, help. I don't want to go on. Can you fix this? And so we're changing that slowly. Um, and I'm that that will be coming up soon. But the website is just one little teeny tiny corner of social media. True. That's more of like um, I think of the our website pretty much as a filing cabinet where you put all the stuff that you don't really want to look at until you want to look at it. All right. And then you're like, oh crap. I need that thing. Well, it's here. It's, it's like the card catalog for it's, the Arts yeah. Council. Yeah, it's filed under. Oh, it's filed under here. Okay, I found it. Now I've got that piece of paper, but or not piece of paper even. I've got that piece of information, and now I can. So yeah, so that just just tackling a website is horrifying, and that's just half of one percent of communications. So yeah. this is a perfect opportunity to anybody who is entering the field of communications. All those people out in volunteer land who would like to get an internship uh, and get paid nothing. Not a dime. Really good, you know, I can write you a job description. You'll get gold on your resume for saying, I've affected change in this grassroots organization by putting together, you know, this communication plan or helping with something. Oh, we have got... Have we got the position for you. Yeah, we do. So um, call us. Contact us at Swanton Arts Council or info at Swanton Arts Council at uh, swantonartscouncil.org. Contact us at swantonartscouncil.org, info at swantonartscouncil.org. There's definitely an email. Swantonartscouncil at gmail.com. Gmail gmail Facebook, Instagram. Facebook, call me Instagram. on my cell phone. Yeah, don't call me. Um, but call Judy, her number, 802. No, 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 I just look on a bathroom wall. I'm sure it's there somewhere. One other thing that's hugely strategic um, in our strategic plan is getting our art walls back. Yes. yes. So SPAN, which is not Spick and SPAN, which is SPAN, which is the Swanton Public Artist Network, is working to get not only the art walls back, but they've been in having discussions with the village and now the town, that was just very recently, where they've created a memorandum of understanding to get the to get the art walls back up for a public art policy that will also expand to other public art so that if someone has an opportunity to put in some sort of sculpture or paint electrical boxes or anything there's already a protocol in place this is incredibly exciting news yeah. And it would, could be huge for Swanton um, so that we just have a process. And because there's so many artists, uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Obviously, if you're doing public art on your private property, that's a different story. Then you just have to follow the zoning regulations, which you can contact Amy Giro right at the town. She'll let you know what's the what um, and what you can and can't do. But you pretty much can do a lot on your own personal private property but if it's on public property you know having that agreement with the state or with the town and the village making sure you don't um violate any state billboard laws then just having that in place is going to be a huge huge win for us and this is all building on scott that. rayom's art walls that we had in place for five years um, so you're ready to have them back i'm ready to have them back yep. yes. bring back the and walls and mm -hmm. I'm excited that we'll have some more clear rules yeah. and regulations yeah. so that the artists that do take the time to put what they are feeling emotionally outside will get a chance to actually have a more more than an hour and 22 mm. minutes of screen time. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I, so it's also like it'll create an opportunity for let's say somebody puts up a picture and there is some confusion or concern or on you know 
somebody doesn't like it, there'll be a, a way for them to address it. But I believe, don't quote me, um, the information was reviewed at a select board meeting just recently, a couple of weeks ago. And just heard something. Is that the voice of God or was that someone from the control God's group? God's agreeing with you. He's like, okay. yeah, tell yeah. him, Judy. That's yeah, what yeah, he yeah. Said. Okay, cool. He's giving me a high five. Or, <laughs> sorry. Or telling me to watch what I was going to say. Uh, but the select board has is reviewing it. They're going to have a further uh, conversation following the elections that are coming up. Um, and I don't remember where I was going with this. It's all good. Thanks, God. Thanks, God. Yeah, sorry. I lost my, lost my train of thought. But anyways, <laughs> it's all good stuff. Uh, but I believe it was, I know what I going to say. Uh, I think artists will have their work up for a month minimum. Good. Nice. Unless there's a <laughs> legitimate and a valid complaint. Because I don't think people actually realize like how big those art walls really were. So yeah. some of those artists were spending like three to four hours. Oh, longer. Rotisserie chickening in mm -hmm. the sun to get yeah. those. And then they'd be up for like an hour or yeah. three hours. And you're like, awesome. I have a sunburn and yeah, um... longer. People were spending longer on that uh, than that. And I mean, like, and one of the things I think people forget is when you do a, a big mural like that, that two, two big things. First of all, that's like a twelve to $1,500 piece of artwork that is a gift to I the town. Absolutely no taxpayer dollars go into that. That is a free gift to the town. Uh, other towns, they have a huge uh, public art budget that Swanton doesn't have. Yeah. These are gifts yeah. that the artists do oh, with their okay. own supplies mm -hmm. and their time. Mm -hmm. And a commissioned art piece of that size uh, will will be in that range. And we're talking, we had multiple art wall, walls all throughout the summer yeah. and in multiple locations. So that's, that's one thing, and no tax dollars at all. The other thing is the painting itself is maybe 10% of the process. So if you know anyone who sews... Or if you know anyone who paints like a wall in your house, just like painting one color, putting the paint on is is only a very small portion. You've got to clean it, you've got to prep it, you've got to paint it, you've got to pick design out the color, you've got to design it, de -de 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 -de. purchase the materials, purchase materials, then you got to clean it, bag. it all up. Mm -hmm. um, same with like sewing. Anybody who sews, and we have a bunch of fabric artists mm -hmm. out there, just like running the material through the machine is and just and like that's that's nothing you've got to design it cut it so it you know cut it and all that other stuff and iron it um when i did mine i i had my two boys and my wife was i think she was busy or something so i had to i had to hire some crackhead to watch my kids and it is so hard to find crack in this area okay, to so then pay the kid the guy yeah but you I know. thought we said we weren't going to talk about that. No, we're not going to talk about that. No. Uh, but <laughs> segue. So we talked about span, and that's awesome. Yes. I'm uh, excited. There was another segue, which I've lost, but um, that's coming up. We do have one other thing in the strategic planning to think about, because uh, people all over the state are kind of watching what Swanton does, because we were trendsetters. Yeah. What I Scott did, Ram did. Attention. Believe me. Well, what <laughs> Scott Ram did to get those art walls happening uh, was unprecedented. And we had this open canvas that anyone could use at any time, which we just assumed, and he, we all assumed that the biggest challenge was going to be somebody drawing like porn or something on the uh, on one of the art walls. We never had that, by the way. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, and we were. I was kind of waiting for that. Actually, I thought I'll just turn that banana and cherries <laughs> into uh, yeah. But I was thinking palm tree or you know coconut tree right. or something. <laughs> Um, I'll flower like what is what uh, you know like <laughs> orchids <laughs> kind of close to some things anyway. But people are watching us. There's an opportunity to get involved in another way. If you're already involved in the Swanton Arts Council or you just want to look beyond the Swanton Arts Council, um, the Vermont Creative Network is looking for people to get involved too. That is, a, I don't want to say a subset, but that's working through the Vermont Arts Council and pulling together all the creative sec creative people in a four-county area. And if you anyone wants information on that, you can just call us 
or email us. Or email Instagram us at one us. of our 12 email addresses. Yeah, one of our 12 email addresses, which are pretty, pretty much all listed on our website. Um, and you can Facebook us or Instagram us or someone Twitter, tw uh, tweet, tweet. I do not Twitter believe that we at the SAC have a Twitter. I, I don't believe we, so either. I, thought, yeah, I know that we have an Instagram. We may. Tweeting? If we do, tweet us. Tweeting but, uh, or tweeting? 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 Tweeting twittin'. when I have the bean soup. I believe right? it's tweeting. <laughs> tweeting. Yeah. I don't Twitter. Twitter. I think it's Twitter, and I don't think that we have a Twitter. Yeah, so it's a past tense of doing a tweet, a twat, <laughs> oh, because God, that would be bad. Seven minutes. Okay, straight. sorry. Oh, God. I'm sorry, darn it. All right, so there's that. <laughs> Big exciting news. Uh, Arts Council is the funding, funding, funding opportunities. So if anyone has a project, a project or a program, project, project like that, that they would like to get funded, we got we, money. We got money, and not only we got money, we got other opportunities. So working with Swanton Rec, or we could fund you. Um, there's different opportunities for you to take your art and. Um, sell it, share it, do whatever, contact us, contact us, contact us with your proposals. This is so exciting. Um, I think that there's just so many opportunities. There's going to be, and then there's opportunities for creation too. Like I see you've got some lovely artwork there, Joe, that These your children have done. artworks. Seven-year-old Picasso over here. Yeah. It's amazing stuff. So there's youth art happening at the library all the time. We're just rounding up the Harry Potter stuff right now yes. where our own Christian Jackson is doing a... Um, yep, so I actually came up with two separate Harry Potter themed tarot spreads. And then I am offering the first 10 people who are 18 or older, because I do not read tarot cards for anyone under the age of 13 years old, um, just for comfort level. So if you are 18 years or older and you go to the Swan and Rec, you can register for that event for free of charge. And then you can pick between one of two tarot or Harry Potter spreads. And then I will get that out to you. And I'm hoping that all of the spreads for that plus all of the business, because apparently it's a really good time to be an Aquarius. Like Aquarius season was really busy. It is the dawning busy. of the age of Aquarius. I've and heard, uh, I, I have old. a ton of free birthday readings to do mm -hmm. as well yeah. this month. So I'll be busy, but hopefully all everybody will have what they need yeah. by mid-March. Excellent. And there's more fun Harry Potter stuff coming, but by the time you get this, it'll probably all be over. Harry so Potter watch trivia. it next year. Harry Potter trivia, potions, all sorts of fun things. Yeah, I'm wand making. Sure can do wand making. We, but with the, so the Swan Arts Council helped with wand making. And start helped with making masks, uh, Harry Potter masks, and helped with a whole bunch of other fun stuff. The writers group meets on the third Thursday of every month, and there is a writing challenge. It's a mm. writer's response and an artist response to the book, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Yes. It's a great book. Yes. The library has it on video, which will be out soon if you want to watch the movie. It's available on Audibles. It's available on Audibles. It's available through Libby, um, which is Green Mountain Library Consortium. We have the book at the library. So we're looking for a um, artist response or a, or a writer's response. We're going to put together a little zine, a little magazine, a little online nice. zine. Very exciting. And there's also art journaling, which is the second Wednesday of every month. Just real quick, the deadline for the submission for the hate you give is April 1st. April 1st, yes. Now, we've got first Monday of the month. Is that April Fool's joke? It is not. No, it's not Just April checking. Fool's joke. Uh, first Monday of the month is Swanton Arts Council meeting. Second Wednesday is art journaling. Third Thursday is writer's group. When you throw in other things that are going on in town, like the select board meeting, which are a hoot if anybody mm. hasn't watched them, you can I log right in and watch those. It's a I'm great time to listen to see in. see what and... happens next month yes. as far as because there are so many super powerful women of our community running for positions on I'm terribly the excited board. about I'm so stoked. I'm terribly and it's excited. much needed. I'm excited about all the people who are running. It's great to see um, a lot of people running for running it and more people getting involved because they just finally have the opportunity to watch. I, I think when the floodgates open and people can go to meetings again, there's probably going to have to be a popcorn machine there because hmm. I think it's it's fun. But it's it's a it's a hoot to watch them. They're great guys or gals. They're talking about good stuff about what's going on in Swanton. And same with the village trustees. 
But if you look at all those meeting dates and then you throw in the planning commission and you throw in the developmental review board and you throw in all these other things, I don't know when we're going to have the creative meetings. We have to create a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so we'll have to have Saturdays. Oh, I don't know how to do it. And, I, and it's also so weird trying to do a creative meeting um, through Zoom. Yeah. So so that's one well, question we're working on now is how those suckers happen. If anyone has any idea. Yeah, don't call me. Just a tech, text. Don't call me either. Don't Jeez. call me, but you can email you can call us. me. Um, yeah. I'll forward you to her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Swanton Rec is also looking for instructors. So if anybody wants to teach something like spray paint art. Or Sign me up. Tarot workshop. Or tarot, the esoteric arts. Or if you want to do any sort of. Even maybe our creative meetings, because I know they're pushing the writers group and the um, writers group and the art journaling. So if there is some sort of creation group or some way to go, contact Nicole Draper at Swan Recreation. There's opportunities yeah. all over the place. I think I could teach people how to create like they're a really good before pick. That's what I'm working on myself right now. <laughs> a before well, picture? Yeah, you know, your before picture. And then later when you're in shape, you look like you're oh, after. Wow. I'm working on the before right now. Oh. So if anyone wants any pro tips on how to put 30 pounds in this area. Oh, wow. <laughs> Me too. I have, the, I, have the food, I have the food plan for that. Yeah, so. lasagna and donuts is my yeah. key to success Oreos. there. Oreos. Oreos, yes. Oh, yeah. Oreos with so, peanut butter on them. Uh, no. No? It's peanut good butter. butter. I, had a, I had a friend who used to say, oh, it's, I have to... I have to eat this and that every day just to gain weight. And I'm like, if you're looking for sympathy, you're in the wrong not place, yet. sister. <laughs> it's not um, happening. Yeah. Anything? So do we have anything that we have left out? I don't know that there's anything left. I could uh, discuss my, my idea for my spray painting thing. Yes. That uh, I yeah. mentioned to you. I didn't really mention it to many other people. But, yeah, I think... Uh, uh, paint in the park kind of thing. Maybe set up six to ten tables and have it all set up with what I think is w what you might need on the table. And uh, maybe I'm thinking 20 people if they want to. I don't know how much it's going to cost and all that good stuff and all those details. But I do think the ability to teach 20 people how to paint something in an hour, I think it can happen. So if you have any ideas uh, or if you're interested, please reach out to us and let us know. Yeah, I think that's great. I'd yeah. sign up for that. So it's a way to share your art, a way to make money at your art, a way to bring art to Swanton and bring recreation to Swanton. You really can't miss out on this one. It's pretty awesome. With that, this is the Swanton Arts Council's Recapping the Arts. Thank you. Have a great day. Hey, guys, we're going to have to do that one again. I forgot to hit record. Uh, yes. <laughs>